All I'm saying is that, baby girl, if you are interested, take my tips. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Glam by Jan. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I tint my eyebrows at home. So if you guys wanna learn how to tint your eyebrows at home, then keep on watching. I also want to give a quick disclaimer, I did not take a course on eyebrow tinting. This is just something that I picked up from the beauty field and discovering that I can just do it on my own. Um, also, if you're doing this at home by yourself, make sure that you do a patch test on yourself. Either behind your ear or your wrist is recommended. And I know that there are rules and regulations throughout different states. Check out your state's regulations and just make sure that you are able to do it. When doing it on yourself, do it with gloves because I remember my first time doing it, I had eyebrow tint everywhere. So to avoid, you know, messing up your nails, which I already did right here a little bit, just wear gloves, just wear gloves. It's easier, it's more sanitary. By the way, I think eyebrow tinting is really, really cool. I love it. I have done this on myself for about three years now and I have yet to have any allergic reactions, but you know, we are all different. So I would just, you know, take that into consideration before just doing it. Let's jump in. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off by grooming my eyebrows first. I like to do that beforehand, that way I don't go overboard with the tint. And I'm just gonna start off by brushing my eyebrow hairs first. All right, and always make sure you have a good mirror on hand. This one has a big mirror, so I like to use this one. And what I like to do before I get started is grab a tissue, and I'll just fold it literally like three times. That way I can keep this around my finger and then whatever like hairs I pluck out, I can easily just put them on the tissue. Like so. This literally makes my eyes water. All right, and when I'm done with that, I like to go in with the eyebrow razor and just clean it up. I know that using an eyebrow razor makes your eyebrow hairs grow faster, so I like to tweeze as many hairs as I can first and then go in with the eyebrow razor. I'm trying to see how I'm gonna do this on the cam. And the key to this is to pretty much take your time. Don't rush on your eyebrows. If you want good brows, take your time on your eyebrows. After I groomed my eyebrows with the razor, I like to still go in with the tweezer and clean it up. <laughs> They look good. Okay, and now that my eyebrows are groomed how I want them, I'm gonna start the process of eyebrow tinting. And I like to start off by pouring water into one of my glass dishes. Now, when starting off, you're gonna always wanna cleanse your eyebrows. I use this Beauty Gard Garde, Garde, Garde. It's a oil-free lash and brow shampoo. I got this off of Amazon. Now I just squeeze out a little bit and it literally just pours right out. And then I'm literally going to place the product onto my brows. 
just to take off any moisturizer or anything like that that I may have on them. And then we're gonna grab a clean cotton swab with the water and I'm just gonna slightly dip it in there. Should be nice and wet. That way you are able to clean off. And then I'm gonna grab a dry one and just wipe all of that off. Next, I'm going to go in with the Vaseline and my flat brush. What we're going to do is carve out our eyebrow as if we were doing concealer. This is just going to make sure that the tint doesn't run. And I just like to pick up a generous amount on my brush. Fabio! Make sure you brush your eyebrows first so that you get a really precise application and I know that it's clear so it's kind of harder to tell on camera but I am putting a generous amount remember this is gonna stop the tint from running and now I'm just gonna grab my small dish and I'm going to grab one of my eyebrow tints. This is from Godfroy. Godfroy? Godfroy? I can't pronounce it, but the brand is spelled G-O-D-E-F-R-O-Y. And they're small hair color capsules. So you want to just grab one out of the pack. And this did come with its own developer. When I first started doing eyebrow tinting, I used to use these Reflecto Sil. So if you are just starting off and you know you want to experiment, these here are really, really good for you to start off with. They aren't too harsh on the skin, which I personally loved when I first started just because you know if you make a mistake it's kind of easier for you to go back and just clean it up versus these capsules I feel like there is no turning back with these um, it does tint very fast but one thing about these is that the tint on this lasts longer so if you're you want a more natural look you might want to go with the reflecto reflecto seal this one is just a bit more bold um this one does come in a bunch of different colors i think i have it in like chestnut and natural brown dark brown and black so this is kind of a good alternative to start off with and in these capsules a lot goes a long way and it literally, I'm just going to drop the whole capsule in there. I normally use half, but I'm just going to put the whole thing to show you guys what I'm working with. And then you shake up your developer. And I'm just going to pour about five to seven drops. And that's where your application stick comes in and you get to just make sure it mixes well. If you need to put some more developer in there, don't be afraid to. Just don't go crazy with it and make it too liquid. You want this to be a bit more creamier. That way you are able to control it better. All right, and with the same application stick that I've been using to mix my ingredients, I'm going to use to apply. And I'm going to start off mid-eyebrow. And 
And I like to work slowly and very, like a little bit at a time because I'm the type that likes to build up my product. I rather have, I rather have to put more than to have to take away because it's harder to take away than to apply. And then when working towards the front of the eyebrow, I like to bring it upwards. Very gentle and very soft and slowly. Right away when working on the front of the eyebrow, I kind of like to ombre it. So I'm going to just diffuse the color with a Q-tip. And now that my eyebrow seems pretty filled, I like to go in with the angled eyebrow brush and I will dip that in there and then just apply the rest of the product to the brow. And this is just going to make sure that I'm actually applying it everywhere and giving me a generous amount of tint everywhere. And it's also just easier to work with. It kind of feels like you're filling in your eyebrows. I'm lightly pressing the tint and then like kind of just dabbing it in. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna just start removing the front of my eyebrow because I don't like the front of my eyebrow to be too harsh. Should ombre it really nicely. And then I'm just gonna go in. And then with my lip applicator, I'm gonna dip it into the rest of the Vaseline that I had in the back of my hand. And I'm gonna go in and clean up the brow. Okay, and then now I'm just gonna remove, I'm gonna grab a clean cotton swab and I'm gonna dip it back into the water. And I'm just going to wipe it off with this. And that is what it looks like after one pass. I normally do two passes on each eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and do the second pass on this eyebrow. And I'm gonna start off by putting it in the areas where I see more of the patches. And I'm not putting too much, just a little bit to kind of fill in those sparse areas where it didn't catch too much of the tint. I like to end, make the ends of my eyebrows a bit darker, so that's where I'm just going to keep it. That looks pretty good. I want to, oh, I just got to see, and this is why you wear a black shirt. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Wear a black shirt. All right, so I went ahead and did my right eyebrow off camera and now I'm just gonna remove the rest on this side.
Now I'm just gonna remove the one on my right side off camera, I'll be right back. Now this is what it looks like with one pass, two passes. You can definitely leave it like this. I just like mine to last longer, but with one pass it does also look more natural in person. This just makes it also easier when I'm doing makeup and I'm just on the go and I'm ready to just get out the door. Put on a little foundation, mascara, you're good to go. You don't even need to fill in your eyebrows. But that is the difference. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a second pass on this eye and I'll be right back. All right, with my right eye, sometimes I get a little patchy because the formula does dry up. So in the front part, if it's a bit harder for you to blend out with a dry Q-tip, just dip it in water and then blend it out like so. This is way easier to work with when wet. All right, and then I'm just gonna remove the rest of the product off the brow. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I love them this bold because when I do my makeup, I do not have to fill in my eyebrows. It just helps me, you know, get up and put on a little bit of makeup and go. Keep in mind, I did three passes, so that is a lot. Um, I would try to stick to doing two passes. Just leave it on your skin a bit longer. I did three passes for about five minutes each. Try doing two passes for about six minutes each. I'm gonna go ahead and do my quick no makeup makeup look. All right guys, and that completes this look. If you have not yet seen my everyday glam routine or my no makeup makeup look, make sure you check those videos out. This is the final look of the eyebrows. I didn't put any type of product in them. I definitely recommend eyebrow tinting. It's just an easy, quick um, alternative to microblading or micro shading. And that concludes the rest of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Peace.